Good morning, folks. You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. That is, as long as folding doesn't mean quitting and you live to fight another day. After the news, stay tuned for an explanation of the data uses changes you'll see here. Meanwhile, we are zooming in to watch a satellite image progression showing the end of winter up north and the breakup of the Arctic ice. You will remember last summer, the Arctic hit record low ice the same week the Antarctic set record for high ice. NOAA's spring flood report was released two days ago. Veteran observers are aware of the high snow totals in the north central states set to melt in the coming weeks. All government activity has ceased at the Bayou Corn sinkhole, at least until the rumblings underground that began yesterday stop. You can find this information on the RSOE alert map link provided below. If you are in Europe and caught the storm already, I wasn't kidding, was I? The precipitation comes down hard on the leading edge, and as the bitter cold follows, it is still moving east. New Zealand hopefully going to mitigate their drought conditions over the next 24 hours. They are already getting some rain in the south. As of now, the lows are staying south of Australia, but one is expected to break through early next week. will bring some colder weather. For your first time looking at NOAA's pressure map, just isolate the capital H's and L's to identify the highs and lows. I said weeks ago this day was coming when the weather would change. You will get used to this map. The leading east edge of the low will have the most precipitation and severe weather tonight. Next low coming across the Pacific while Nova Scotia sends one on her way to Europe. This is yesterday, orange solar wind density dropping after the elevated stream. Last 24 hours shows a pick back up of the density. It was minor, but this is what happens with a failing magnetic shield. Our ionosphere is stuck absorbing solar plasma, and after such elevated streams we seem to take inductions off what it would take to slide oil on ice. Earth footprint, our magnetic connection to the sun is back on the limb today with the active regions. The radiation and energy flux is possible if flaring occurs there. Luckily, we have seen nothing since the M flare. We do have one active region incoming. Looks decently developed. Only one Earth-facing eruption. Very small, but perfectly Earth-directed and appearing to have sent out some ejecta. This is not a traditional flare in CME or a filament eruption, just a random ejection. The top story looking forward is the major quake watch, set to begin when the umbral fields allow the magnetic opening in the solar atmosphere to face Earth. Might be tonight, might be tomorrow, but the coronal hole is coming and the planets start lining up right afterwards. Also got a plasma filament turning in ahead of that coronal hole. We are looking for an uptick in six magnitude quakes or higher starting in the next few days. Be sure to stick around for a short piece on the changes to the news, why they happened, and what else is coming. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone. I know, guys. I'm not a huge fan of the changes either, but we all knew that one day our laws would begin infringing upon the things we do here. Most recent arrow to pierce our veil is a blow dealt to news aggregators, like me and many of your favorite YouTubers. And while this is only the first step on a long road to more restrictive data usage policies, and nothing we were currently doing was yet prohibited, the changes to the news did need to come now. Now, a worse change is forced by Congress's new filing laws. They would allow someone to own some of the things I do, even some of the methods, and force me to put ads on the news if I wanted to use them or stop doing it completely. I could not let that happen, so I took legal action. This is the reason I made the observer's shop. My day job does pay the bills, but not those types of legal bills. And I will never put ads on the news or ask you to donate. Now, if you didn't know about this shop, it's because I do not promote it. The corporatism induces nausea and headaches, but I don't really know what else to do. I've decided to take this down at the end of the month. My conscience is not clear with this, and I will find another way to deal with it without infringing on the news. Don't worry. Meanwhile, this was meant for those who have been asking for this for months. You guys got a week. I'm ashamed of this website. Be safe, everyone.